Good. Hey YouTube, it's Dalajun here, and welcome back for another episode of Rugrats in Paris, the movie. I see it right. Uh, no, is it Rugrats in Paris, the movie? Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. Or is it the, the movie's... I, I don't know his title of this game. But we're in Uwe Gooey Land, and uh, it's, it, it looks really disgusting. Like, I wouldn't want to live here. I wouldn't want to go to a theme park where it's like this. It's disgusting. Are we on, are we on track for anything? Like, that's the question. Like, come on. Come on. Talk to me. Like yeah, we have one. Talk for some kind of mouse game. Who bloody knows this game? Like, I don't know how I feel about this game. I, I think it's it's a good game, yeah. But it's just... It just doesn't feel right. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Then. We should be able to get, like, everything here. Also, this game is really challenging. As you can see, I've only got 13 tickets with the help of save states, by my mention. Turn back forward. Okay. A Wii Wii collection. It, it's, it's weird how this game is, it's just like, it doesn't feel like a ch children's game. It feels like an adult's game. So, so we have to collect, oh. Find and pop all the balloons. Good look. Okay. It, I, just, I just don't feel like this is actually a game. It just feels like, it just feels like all clunky and stuff. Like, I do like, remember playing this game as a kid, like, it is such a nice game. Like, just like, for, for the nostalgia feel, but. I, I, if you guys ever play this game as a kid, I want I want you guys to try to play this game again. And I'm curious, like, how you, like, feel about this game. Because um, I've only been saying bad stuff about this game. Just because, like, in comparison to the first two games, you know, the... Um, well, well, the first and third game I've played. Because I haven't played the second game yet in the series of Rugrats games. Um, I just feel as if this is a step backwards. Like, this is what the first game should have been. If anything, just like... And then they, they, they should have done something about it because I feel as if it's just like a really badly made game. I know it did well on the the ratings and stuff. This is the last one. Is it? Oh, it's not? I wonder if it got to be oh no, the, oh, here. a sick passage. Uh, I just feel like <laughs> this, this game could have been like so much better than what it actually is. Like, I love Rugrats. Like, I, I can still watch Rugrats to this day. I just think it's a great show. Also, these, these elephants are really freaky. I just feel like this game was rushed. I, I, don't, I don't know if it was or not in development because I didn't really research too much about the, the, the development cycle of this game. But I just feel as if it wasn't like that fast. Like it, 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 it's not. It's not. It doesn't feel right. And also, come on, Tommy. It just. It, how are we meant to do this as well? Like I've literally not missed any balloons, and it says get pop them all. How the hell? This is way too challenging for a kid's game. Like, I've got stuff missing still. Like, we can't win because... Oh, we have to go there last. Like, this is hard, man. Looks like we've lost. God damn it. Unless we have to get a set amount. Yep. I'll meet you guys back when we get up top. Also, I'm not going to get any, any tickets this time. I'm just going to fly through it. Let's go. So, guys, we're back here. We're going to go on the underpass path. First, I still find it weird how challenging this game actually is. Okay, we're back here. Okay, let's let's go up top now. Like, this game is so challenging, and it's like I'm I'm a fully grown adult. I'm, I'm nearly 22 when I'm recording this video, and yet I am struggling to actually get this thing. Also, it appears. Come on, you can get up there, Tommy. It appears like that this like the reversing mechanics on this hippo thing is actually faster than actually going normal. I don't know if I'm, I'm just doing that, like, the whole pseudo effect, like, thank god we did it with 20 seconds this time. Good job, yay, we got a gold ticket, thank god. But I just feel like this game, it just doesn't feel right to me. And I'm really disappointed that I'm actually saying that, but I just, I'm not enjoying it that much. Um, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm playing it for you guys, because, like, it is in the series of Rugrats games, and I want to play them all. But, yeah, okay, what's this? The exact same, what is it? Start the music. Ooh. But I just feel like it just doesn't feel like a Rugrats game, and I know I'm probably gonna get, get, gonna get a lot of hate for that, but it just doesn't feel right. Start the music. Okay, what do we need to do? Kicking the music going by tagging the gooey creatures. Okay. It looks like the inside I don't know if we have to like get them all or not, or what have you. Let's have a look. But I just feel like we have to hit him, don't we? Yeah. I just feel as if this game is just not Rugrats. It's, it's, it's weird, like, this doesn't feel like Rugrats at all. As you can see, we have to hit all the 
animatronics or whatever they are. I feel like I'm in Five Nights at Bloody Freddy's. Five Nights at. Oh Jesus, we gotta be fast about this, don't we? Then, if the music just keeps turning off randomly. Okay, I'm guessing it's gonna be one up the top as well, because that's mean if it is at the top, but they probably would put one up here. It's nice to just check and see where we stand. Come on. Yep, I was right. Okay. Boom. I'm get Ooh, there's like six of them, it looks like. Okay. Boom. Okay. Let's, uh, let's hope we can do this. I, I don't know if it's all random time frames. I'm guessing it's probably like a set order to do this in. Okay, I know there's one over here. This one went out really fast last time. Oh, someone. Whoa. One already went off. God damn it. Okay. So let's. Oh, this, this, this is like. So that one is has to be last, okay? We understand that one needs to be last. Let's see how long this one lasts. Okay. Well, like as you can see, the, most of these are still going like strong. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like. Okay. Oh, okay. We might be able to do this actually. But let's see if we make it back before these actually cut out. I have a feeling they're gonna cut out. I really have by the time we get to get back. Come on, don't cut out. Please don't cut out on me. It looks like they get the game faster. Just please don't cut out on me yet. Oh, tits. I'm actually going to reload a save state here. Or not. Game? Oh, there we go. I'm actually going to reload a save state because now we've got a set order in which we can do this in. And I'm actually going to go right to the top and go backwards. Just because we, we know the way to go now. Simple as, we're done. Uh, unless it's all random. Because if it's random, that's a bit bull, to be honest. But yeah, he lasted a while. Also, this log flume up here is really, like, glitchy. Like, just look at that. Oh, I did this game, man. I, I, keep, I keep slagging this game off because I just do, but I really just don't think it's as good as the predecessors. And I'm pretty sure the game after this, which is for the Game Boy, uh, the Game Boy... Advance that is, is so much better, and it's awful for me to say like a game in my childhood, which I loved to, to play as a kid, is this bad, and it sucks. It looks like it's not RNG. It looks like it's a set path as well, which is great. And I, I kind of hate that like that. This is actually what pe or I I bought this game as a kid. I play this game a lot and I never beat it because it's too difficult. I, like, I know a lot of PS1 games back in the day was difficult. Should be the last one. Boom. And because of that, like, you're very well, you did a good, you got a lot of ticket. And I know, I respect that, like, a lot of games in, in the in like the past generation was, like, really challenging. But that still doesn't explain, like, why it was, like, so bad. Like, I, I just feel like this game is just so bad. I know there was other version, versions, like I mentioned uh, in, in a previous episode, like which got better ratings than this. And this game came out years later than every other game. But I just, I just feel like it makes me just not enjoying it. Okay, it's down here. Uh, but I think this game could. It's not this way, is it? I've gone the wrong way. I just feel like this game could have just, like lived up to the hype. You know, it's rare that games actually do live up to the hype. I think the last game that actually lived up to my hype was. You have a GTA Online, or GTA 5 if you're one of the cool kids. And I think Call of Duty Black Ops 2 actually lived to the hype. But then that, it's like, most games just... Yeah. Okay, it's a red puzzle piece, we don't even have the red puzzle piece. So it looks like we're going to go back to the original... We're going to go back to the original world tier now, and see if we can pick up any more tickets or whatever. You. If I have to, I'll just like replay this off screen. But we're going to actually try to get the red puzzle piece and stuff, so... I'll meet you guys at the shop. So guys, we made it back to the ticket booth, I literally just... Went and bought some tickets, I guess. By that I mean, I just went and picked one or two up. Oh, there's so much stuff to pick up, man. We're gonna buy the red one next, and I think we're gonna save up for the the next puzzle piece. We might as well actually go and do the red one now. I'll meet you guys back there, and then we're probably gonna start like getting all these other collectibles. I'm actually gonna actually have a quick walk around here and see if I can actually pick up anything, any more tickets. So I'll see you guys in a second. So guys, we're at the red puzzle piece, and this is gonna be another puzzle. Uh, let's go and track with it. Select. I haven't actually found. I haven't found out where the um, the yellow puzzle piece goes. So that's gonna be fun. I'm to look for that. And we also need to get the lily pad thing because that's the thing as well. For each place here, yeah, we know we know where this goes. We got this, guys. So I actually 
I keep saying I'm gonna go for everything, but I literally just don't know if I am. Just due to the fact that like, I feel like some of the collectibles I'm working towards right now are useless, you know? Okay, where does this go? Middle? Uh, oops. See, that's stupid. How would I know that goes there? This game sometimes. Well, all the time, really. I really hate having to, like, insult this game constantly, but... Like, this channel's my opinion. It's all opinion-based. Yeah, it goes there. And sometimes, you know, you just get put with... You're playing crap games, pretty much. And, yeah, like, some games are really fun, and some are just not as fun. And I just feel like this game is... Is lacking in comparison to, like, its predecessors. And I keep, I keep saying predecessors. I sound really, like, smart right now. I'm not smart. That's a lie, actually. I'm, I think I'm in the top... 30% at least in this world, I guess. I'm not getting into my studies and all that because I normally talk about that. My vlogs. My vlogs. Okay, we, we nearly got this done at least. And then I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the episode. I think we might actually farm some cash. Uh, but I'll do that off screen, obviously. Because what would I do on this on the screen? Yay, we got a gold ticket. I think I'm just going to go for like the frog and the yellow puzzle piece. Just because. Why not? Because they're the only two things we actually need. To actually get us more tickets, all the other ones are just like cosmetic things, I think. So, uh, I'll see you guys when we actually farm some thing, you know, some tickets, yeah. Oh my god, guys, we're here at the gold park and this door is now open. I've got no idea what's actually in here, but I was walking around and it turns out it's open, so let's go and check it out. Oh, cool. Ooh, this is fancy, isn't it? Is there a way to get out of here? Oh, it looks like there's actually something in here. So we're actually going to explore this area because I've got no idea how it's open or not. But I was like walking around getting tickets and it was open. So why not actually explore it a little bit? So it looks like that's... Is there another way in here? Wait a minute, I want, I want to check this little, little map out to see if there's anything else here. Ooh, is there actually something... There's another compound in the... I want to check the compound in the middle because that, that had a lot of stuff which we couldn't get to. So... What's actually gonna be in there? I have no idea what's in there. It's a secret area, a secret passage. How do we get to the middle area? I don't know. We're just gonna walk around. Uh, super speed, activate. Ooh, ooh. A puzzle. That's, that's actually pretty neato. What? That's. That's the thing though, isn't it? Oh, it's yellow! Okay. Um, game? Um. <laughs> what the hell? Um. I'll be right back, guys. So that was really, really weird. I'm just gonna activate some super speed action going on here. Um. But yeah, like um, we're gonna farm some of these things. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So guys, we we finally got enough for like the W pad and stuff. I don't know what I would do without the frame skip thing. It's just so useful, but we're gonna, we're gonna buy, really. <sighs> Looks like we need to go and farm some more, because we don't have enough. I'm just gonna go and farm it now. Oh, I forgot enough. God damn it, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, we're back on the golf course area now, and we're actually gonna do this puzzle, because why not? Nothing's respawned yet, so let's do, do, go and do this. I'm literally gonna have, I'm only gonna buy these, just because this is taking forever. Like, it's currently, I started this recording session at half past ten. It's half eleven now. Jesus Christ! All trying to farm this stuff. This game is too much grinding for my liking. I, I, I like grindy games if I'm not YouTubing it up, you know. I'm sure I even got it right to be honest. But you know what I mean, like. Okay. The, the, the thing is, like, a kid will not have the attention span for, for this game, just because, like. How much grinding there is in this game, even with um, frame frame rate skip on the emulator, I'm still taking forever just because you got to do. Did they spawn randomly? I think that they just respawn over time, which is really stupid. But it's part of the game. Isn't it? So there's nothing really I can do about it because it is part of the game, and that's one thing I really don't like. Even like I've been recording currently for an hour. And I've, I've only got two videos, well, not even two videos, I've got like one and a half done. But it's time to go and farm some more tickets, so... Uh, one thing I actually find really weird before we actually start farming tickets is the fact that 
This game, okay, is actually only 130 megabytes. The previous games was 500. Weird, eh? Let's go and see. It, not, no, nothing's like respawning. It's really stupid. God damn it. I, we might have to just call it, lad. Guys, we, we might not be able to do the bloody lizard mini game. Uh, you know, the frog one. Because, like, it's not spawning. No tickets are spawning. Like, there's like one or two tickets over here. Like, we might, we might as well see if we can actually get them. But I'll see, guys, if, if we can get them. If not, then we're just going to go and get the final ending. So, guys, as you can guess, we are here right now. And you know what that means? We're going to go get the ending. I can't grind anymore because... Nothing spawn, it's just gonna be over time, so let's go and get this upgrade. Enjoy your prize. And I don't know what we do with this now. Maybe cutscene? I've got no idea what we do with this helmet. Loading. Um, do, do we go to the giant reptile statue, I'm guessing? Which is like right on the corner, okay. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like cause there's a reptile sign. Maybe we just go to reptile, the giant reptile over here, and see what happens. I've got no idea. I've actually never done this before, so. Um. Oh, yeah. Um, where do we go? Am I an idiot? It's like. You can use that here. Hmm. Where should you use it then? I'm gonna Google this, because I've got no idea where you use this, guys. Oh, so many coins in this episode. So guys, I feel like this game's just like a kind of like a, a massive wild ghost chase now. Uh, we've got to go back to the golf course. You know the in the air, the room I found, which was unlocked. Turns out that's where we have to use the control helmet. I don't know if it matters if we just enter the room from my side or or the, the other side, which I couldn't find. But that's really really <laughs> annoying that we're having to like go back and forward just to actually get this bloody ending stupid really so let's go to the golf park you're only thinking why am i using speed up it's easier it really is it just makes it this game go so much faster with the loading screens and stuff but like how are you meant to know what to do if you've never played this game before like i actually go out to google how you do this because i had no idea not a clue so I think it's actually in here, we have to use the helmet. But, news, news if I know. Let's see. Oh, is that, is that actually, uh, we have to get to the other side somehow. I'll, I'll meet you guys when we find the entrance, I guess, because I have no idea where the bloody hell it is. Hmm. Secret entrance, maybe? Looks very secretive. <gasps> we found it, guys. We found a secret entrance, let's, let's go in. So we could actually go and get the thing now for what you call it, but I can't believe going back for the frog thing. No. <laughs> but yeah, we're actually making our way to uh, Reptar, see how we control this thing. I hear this is actually a pretty thing, pretty to use. Let's have a look. Help, we'll jump right, swing. Robo Snail vs Reptar. Who thinks gonna win, guys? I've, I've got my guesses on Reptar, so only time will tell. Let's, let's go and do this. Loading. Loading really just sucks. Okay. Okay. Rubber snail is, is on the use. Is use powers. Use your claws and, and launch fire. Wait, we can launch fireballs. Okay, we've got four fireballs. Okay, jump. Okay. It's not really launching. It's breathing fire. Keep on the hunt for Robo Snail. Where are you at? Robo snail? Oh god. Jesus, this commentary though. Oh my god. Oh my god, how much damage is this? Jesus Christ, man. What are you doing? Wow. Um, Jesus Christ. That was a lot of damage. I had no idea where you were. Okay, it looks like we have to do some kind of sniping biz snap here. Did we really just die? Oh wow. Activate powers. I'm actually going to save a state when we're to get him. Okay. There we go, save state. It's actually pretty hard to, to do, really. How are you meant to do Because he does so much damage to you. Unless I can fight through the Arctic Triumph. Maybe a minute. Oh, 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 oh. he's moving. He's on the move. It kind of reminds me of, like, um... Oh, Jesus Christ. Look how much damage he's doing right here. How much damage we do to him. 
It's, it's like a bloody... Oh god, back up, back up. Oh, you missed. Is there a way to get, gain health back, or...? I'm guessing it's not. Oh, this is... How are we meant to win this? Honestly, this is hard. Have I missed something with the controls? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wanna read through the controls again, because... This seems really, 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 really difficult. I had to shut my window because like someone was talking outside. God damn it! Let's have a quick look here. Let's, let's have a quick look. Come on, come on. <laughs> jump, oh, jump right, jump left. Ah, I say, I say, I say. I'm sure I save state in game. Okay, okay, there we go. So wait. Okay, I've got this. We've got some strafe action going on here. Okay, let's, let's try to sneak through. Oh, it looks like we can't actually go through there. And it looks like there is some health, actually. Bye. Bye. Oh my god, you got me. Ah, good damn it. Let me at least turn, bro. Come on. Back up, back up. It looks like backing up is faster than like having to strafe all the time. Wow, this Robo Snail has got some serious like hacking, man. Let's see. Can I just walk over this? It, did it give me HP? I actually have no, uh, no clue. Come on, get me, bro. How are you meant to do this? Seriously? Am I, am I just an idiot? I think I might just be an idiot. Wait, let's see how much damage I did to him. I haven't even hit him yet. Look. I think I'm gonna watch a YouTube video really quick on how to beat this guy, because I've got no idea, guys. Honestly, I can't beat him. He's too powerful. So guys, I've, I've looked up some strats, and uh, let's, let's get, let's, let's go. Uh, by the way, I mean, I watched a let's play of this game and see how they did it. They, they literally just camped here and waited for him to come in here and they just spammed the flame when he came around the corner. Okay, let's go for it. Right here. And then they backed off. Come on, Robo Snail. Come to get me. As you can see, he's kind of glitched there. I want to see if we can't see there's a way to get like, more fireballs. Because fireballs seem to be like the most effective against this guy. I guess there isn't really. Let them get help me. Why not? Let's let's make him think he's winning. That that was a lucky shot by him. If you want to get me, bro, come on. Get him in the corner. This is how that's how the guys do it in the let's play. You can like kind of glitch him here and just like spam it. It will eventually turn around, but if you just keep spamming it, nine or ten times, you can win. That's uh, that is such a glitch spot though. And yes, guess what, guys. Uh, me and we saved the princess of China, or oh, not China, Japan. Is it Japan? The princess of Japan. I don't even know with this game. Even though we're in Paris, it makes no sense. Yay! We, we saved the day. Congratulations. You have defeated Robot Nail and saved the princess of Japan or France or whichever country it is, because I don't understand with this game. Good, good job. Try harder. Try, try again on a harder level. No chance. No chance. Avalanche software. So, I'm gonna give my thoughts on the game because, yeah, um, it's only been a short let's play four parts, but it's, it's felt a lot longer. <laughs> um, what do I think of this game? Two out of ten. Two out of ten. The plot is stupid, it doesn't tell you anything. The soundtrack is. It's okay. I mean, the soundtrack is okay. The constant voice acting, the controls, and just, the, just everything in general is just so hard to get used to, confusing. Like, I knew we were about to say a princess, but I didn't know which princess it was. Like, what was it the princess of France, the prince of the world, <laughs> princess of Japan, princess of China? I don't know which country it's from. Like, it doesn't really give me any backstory. And I just think this game, like, like I mentioned, it could have been so much better than what it actually is. And I'm really disappointed that it didn't actually become something which I really wanted to, like, I really got involved with. Like, I, j I just felt like this game was just, it wasn't as great as the other games. And because of that, like, I didn't really want to play it. 
sadly, but it's, it's done now at least. Um, I don't know what game I'm going to be doing next. I may just go go and do another Rugrats game, or I may have a little break because it's just been so long. I've, I've, just, I've done like two like Rugrats games after each other. Um, oh, so this constant jumping is driving me insane. Rugrats theme by Mark M Mother's Bausch. Blah, blah, blah. Script by Scott Gray. Grayson? Lickem and Stickem Frog by Eleanor M Martin, which we actually didn't even do because I've, I've had it in the first game. The grinding element isn't fun. Um, and yeah, that's it really. It's just showing us of all the stuff like Scott C Krager, the VIP of development. M M M is that Michael Rubin? R no, it's not. But yeah, that is the end of Rugrats the movie in Paris, the movie of the game in Paris, the movie, the game of the, the movie in Paris, the movie. And I'm kind of really, I'm kind of glad it's over. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I didn't enjoy the end of this game, and I just thought like, it, it wasn't a good game to let's play. And I'm going through all of the Rugrats games, so I had to play at least some point. And I just thought like this game just, oh, Jesus. So bad, so bad. Also, there's a, there's a voice actor for Dill. Nickelodeon Interactive, Nick Nickelodeon. You need, you need to. The next game better be good than, better than this. It seriously does, cause I'm enough for this. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna leave you guys with the end of the credits. I've had enough of Tom, uh, Tommy jumping. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs> Who says you need a clown to have fun? <laughs> a loving day chance for me!